a few weeks ago, I did a video listening to a whole bunch of songs from the amazing world of Gumball. And then not long after that, I did a video watching Gravity Falls. Why not do a video watching a little bit of the old Tawog. <laughs> I was ridiculously intrigued by the tone of Gumball. I just feel like it hits this weird blend of genres. The episodes seem quite short. They're like 11 minutes. So we're going to watch two. Before we do though, I thought I'd let you know that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks over there, including an uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. The first one is called the DVD. Why is that so... Ominous and intense. Did not expect to hear that when I hit play. Gumball, don't forget to take that DVD back today or we'll get a fine. <sighs> Can't you do it? You're the one with the car. Why he's so lazy? You rented it with your money. The money I have to go and earn to feed you kids. The kids you decided to have. Bruh, am I meant to like him? His mum just asked him to do one simple favor. And he's like, oh yeah, but you got me the DVD, so. <laughs> Is that meant to be an argument in your favor? <laughs> oh my god. She just punched the wall? Excuse me? That's not cute and fun. She just punched a door. We're like 20 seconds into this and this argument is already so weird and ended in like a display of violence. Have you seen that DVD anywhere I- Darwin! What are you doing? For a hot second, I thought that Darwin was like wiping the pizza, like cleaning it. But that do be a DVD. And you really have to be careful with these things. The slightest scratch and they're ruined. Don't use that side. This disc utilizes- The sound, no. <laughs> Big as their drain, what? Face the consequences of our actions and tell them off. Don't be silly. <laughs> I've got a much better idea. There. You can make anything with- This is already a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So freaking much has happened. How am I meant to process all this? Impeccable forgery. You could not have done better. Good job. Didn't even just get another DVD. What is that, pasta? Cardboard? <laughs> Obvious. You say that, but I lost my trousers three weeks ago and still no one's noticed. Everyone's noticed that walk though. Where did he even find cardboard box pants? Did he make them actually? That seems like more effort than just getting pants. Red envelope or red writing? Red writing on red envelope. <laughs> <laughs> the face of terror. Oh my god. We have to pay $25 for the DVD. Ah, what are we gonna do? Face the consequences of our actions and tell mom? No, 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 no. I like that Darwin keeps trying to be the voice of reason. Less complaining, more begging. 22 more and we can pay for the DVD. This is awful. He's an awful human. The reason you guys are on the streets is to pay a DVD fine. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? People don't understand how hard our life is. Bro! I thought the character Gumball would have been like, oh, nice and charming. He's just a bit of a brat. <laughs> he refused to do his mom a favor, but then decided to after she got angry. Scratched a DVD to hell while telling off someone else about being careful. Accidentally yeeted it into a garbage disposal. Faked another DVD out of cardboard to return it to the store. And when they find him, he goes and begs on the street and then complains to a homeless dude about how hard his life is. Not good. <laughs> Very fair. I spent your money on a scratch card and now I'm a millionaire. That's great. So can we have our four dollars back? Oh, uh, uh, so sorry, guys. I, I don't have any, any change. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy for him. Hi, laser video here. Hello, it's laser video. You need to bring back. You need to bring the film. I'm just surprised how much they're chasing them up for. How about this one? Looking for a person with no skills or training to serve as a scientific subject for the cosmetics industry. Oh no. Don't, 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 no. There are bones in there? Oh. oh huh, there are. That's one of the worst things I've seen. I hated that. I hated every frame of that. I'm gonna close my eyes and that's all I'll see for the rest of my life. Hey, that's not bad. Looking good. You. Is it? I was gonna say, is he allergic? Because that's what they're really testing for, right? They're trying to see reactions. Oh, so good. Oh, I hate these visuals. I think I'm gonna get this off. What happened? Why am I looking at the floor? Did he just move his eye? The implications of that. And then he's fine after. I don't. I just accept it, be horrified, and move on. Lol. Yeah. They walked out. <laughs> Oh, they're not <laughs> They would have spent more than $25 sending these letters. No, we're fine. Absolutely fine. No trouble here. Bye. Are you lying? <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Right, you're lying. <laughs> I love how deadpan she is. Oh, my God. We need a copy of Alligators on a Train. I know. I'm going to download it. <gasps> Gumball, 
You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal a woman's purse. You wouldn't steal a cell phone. Percy is stealing! When was this made? Because I wasn't expecting a you wouldn't steal a car reference. Oh my god, it was released in 2011? I did not realize it was that old. I got a better idea. Is it stupid, desperate, and very unlikely to get us out of this mess? Yes. Is it humiliating? <laughs> if we get it wrong. Are we likely to get it wrong? <laughs> At least they're honest. I have, like, no idea where this is going for the end. We need to get the laser video before mom kicks our butt! What did you do this Bro, it's just like 25 bucks. I mean, just tell her! Don't you dare <laughs> run away from your mother! I actually love that there's a chase scene here. <laughs> her parkour is freaking amazing. <laughs> what? Did they just jump on that kid's head? How does dropping the DVD off now change anything? The mum still knows that it happened. Even if they drop it off, it, it doesn't it doesn't change her anger. They're still gonna be in trouble. Why is it gone quiet? Did she like get the dog to be really cute? <laughs> That's also an option. Stop right now! This is one of the most ridiculous things I've watched. Literally, even if they drop it off, she's still gonna be angry. I hope you don't mind if I make sure it's real. Last time it was a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Go for it. Gonna be like dubbed or some awful quality. Even worse, dude. Oh my god. They even put their names at the end. Already know. <laughs> what? You made me leave work and chase you through the neighborhood on a dog for $25? That's what I've been saying! See, Darwin, you should always tell the truth and face the consequences of your actions. Ow. Very, very well deserved. Three months and three days late. That will be $700. And sometimes you just run! <laughs> I understand the impulse, but in the same way that their mother knew about their shenanigans, the DVD store has all of their names, knows them, and will just go after them for the money. Running is not gonna solve anything. What a strange turn of events. That was weird. I loved the chase scene. That was by far my favorite part. The animation there was awesome, but also just the visuals of her riding a freaking dog. <laughs> now I'm even more curious about what on earth the next episode is gonna be like. This one is called The Responsible. Oh yeah, we didn't see the dad in the last one. Ready to go. <laughs> she just turned it into a corset. Hi, I'm here to sit on the baby. Hated that line. Also, is that literally Eric Cartman? It freaking sounds like him. Richard, where did you find that guy? On the internet. The very idea that the father found someone online to babysit and when they rocked up, they literally thought they were going to be sitting on a baby is very uncomfortable and not what I expected to hear from this show. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be real with you. But promise you'll be responsible. I promise to be the most responsible kid. I don't trust him at all. He's gonna mess everything up. I would trust Darwin. I wouldn't trust Gumball. Come on, Mom. We were born reprehensible. <laughs> Was accidentally correct. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of trust in you. The aggression in shoving him in there, my god. I can't believe this. I'm going upstairs. <gasps> Stairs! Ah! I was wondering what direction this episode was gonna go. It seems like they're gonna be overcompensating for everything. There's a rapper in bubble wrap. These guys are so stupid. Two, one, <laughs> you chose to demonstrate that by smashing the TV in front of me. <laughs> How is she the voice of reason here? She's more like five. <laughs> How does she know all this? Oh my gosh, just let her babysit herself. You're too young to understand. Excuse me, but who makes your breakfast every day? You, you of course. course. And who helps you with your homework? You. God, they're useless. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying teacher. How about a walk in the park? Mm, yeah, I guess that could be okay. No. Oh my god. On a. Uh. She's four now. Well, now. You want a biscuit? 
Oh, no, I hate it so much. That was just an old man offering a biscuit to a four-year-old in a park and I don't quite understand what, what I'm witnessing, guys. Was this meant to mess me up this much? And a little something for dessert. Are you kidding me? Didn't they just say that she cooks breakfast for him? Let her cook it if she wants. <laughs> How do they keep getting worse? Uh, how's it? <laughs> oh, that's that's so gross. Now be a big girl and <gasps> there's no way we Just leave. Just get get out of the house. Run. Open this door, young lady. Don't make me tell mom you've been a bad baby. You know that if she just explained it to her parents, they would be like, "Oh yeah, Gumball's a freaking idiot." <laughs> She's totally inside, right? She's just tricking him into leaving. Babysit yourself on the roof until mom and dad come back. Yeah, that means they were making her life hell. I think that's warranted. <laughs> oh, she's actually gonna end up in danger, isn't she? Well, you could have been worse. Are you kidding me? Look at the bill. How do you set fire to a swimming pool? <laughs> that is impressive. Uh, what are we gonna do? Smash the window, fam. It's worth destroying the window for. Oh, is Darwin literally a fish? Like, they can breathe underwater? <laughs> Why is that so adorable? Why would there be any suction there? <laughs> And then they die, and that's the end. <laughs> I've got this. No, Gumball, it was me that left the faucet running. Please, sis. You did everything else and led to that happening, man. Mom? It was Darwin. Wow. Man, Gumball sucks. <laughs> she was the one who left Gumball in charge. Well, it, it's Dad's fault for not finding a proper babysitter. Well, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. <laughs> uh, who are you blaming here? The internet? Okay, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> that was such a stupid ending again. Oh, don't get me wrong. The show was good. It was entertaining and funny, but like I said, am I, am I meant to like them? Because whew, Gumball be making some questionable decisions. Not a fan. I don't know how old he is though. I'm gonna guess like 11, 10. So maybe I should cut him some slack. Hey, you 10 year old, you don't know everything. You don't know how to be a functioning human being. Screw you. You should know everything now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.